Well, we are about two days from release of uh, Phase 4 of SnowRunner on May uh, 18th, and I wanted to uh, make a quick video on how to start your game in Michigan from the very start using uh, 6, 605R. That's the new uh, overpowered truck from the uh, Amur region of the uh, new expansion phase four. So I wanted to show you I'm in hard mode right here, as it's shown here. And I am not using any mods at all. This is my truck store. As you could see on top here, you would have normally, and on the bottom, mods button. I don't have any mods, just uh, regular, you know, scouts, all highway. Otherwise, you'd have a mods little thing up here, but I don't have any of that. And uh, we are rank six. We only have 64 money left to our account. And I have uh, Chevy, GMC, and here's the uh, the beast. Okay. So I want to show in this video how I uh, did all this. If you want to see it in the... Uh, Michigan, I have um, just this much I've done. Um, I can show another maps. I did not do anything else in Michigan. As you can see, nothing's discovered, nothing in Alaska. Um, you can go, you can see there's nothing been done here. Um, also nothing, um, a little bit in Tamir, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, nothing in Cola, obviously. Nothing in Yukon. Uh, Wisconsin, nothing, and then um, we did some stuff, obviously, in uh, a more region. So uh, let's start with Michigan. I'll just show you um, how I started the map and what I did. Let me just turn the, this off because one of them is causing it. Stop tracking. So we get rid of all these uh, unneeded circles. So um, the first thing I did was um, I'll just show on the map because uh, it would be... Um, hard for me to retrace the footage. It took many hours to do, but um, I haven't done pretty much any missions at all here. So we'll be starting with Zix to do all our questing, so to speak, and all our contracts. So I started with the Chevy, did not upgrade the wheels, just uh, as is, uh, exited the garage, and then I uh, drove it straight to, um, I don't go down this road in front of the garage. It's muddy, so I just kind of go through the field. It's nice and so, uh, firm. And I went and I picked up the uh, upgrade for the uh, uh, GMC uh, lifted sus uh, suspension, uh, race suspension. So I get that, come out on the road, and then we go straight across, just like we always do, to this intersection. Went to the uh, GMC and discovered it, left it there. Now, I actually tried to do a mission to uh, to um, build this bridge but uh, I failed I actually took the GMC down here and grabbed the trailer that was parked here with uh, wooden planks and I pulled that trailer here thinking that I'm gonna just because it needs two pl wooden planks to get this bridge going and um, I failed it got stuck here uh, GMC could not climb this marsh anymore so I just left the trailer for the future I'll come back and with the Zix and just get it done but what I was going for is actually there was an upgrade here for the uh, Fleet Star 2070 uh, for race suspension. So I got that with a GMC and I just dropped the trailer and I came back. I, uh, so I would not recommend doing this. Just leave GMC B, use the Chevy uh, pickup to get that upgrade and then just come back. But in either case, I drove my GMC back home at this point. I actually left it at this intersection before I took it home. Uh, the Chevy was left here as I discovered the GMC, so I just took it through town. I discovered the uh, flatbed semi-trailer here, and then uh, went back into town. I got at the main intersection, came down here and discovered this trailer. It's got some bricks and uh, service parts here. And then I, I grabbed this quest as well, this uh, missing machinery, this mission. So then I went through town. I climbed uh, really straightforward here in the Chevy with no upgrades. I went to this house. Right here is an upgrade for the Chevy's engine, which is the best engine Chevy can have. I grab that. Um, the reason I'm getting all these upgrades is because I'm going to be selling stock, which will raise the capital for me to do all the moves and everything else that I need to do. I uh, go through these puddles. Really simple. It's probably the most enjoyable puddles in the game because the uh, the bottom is very hard here, so you just go through with no problems. Uh, as always, you just go to get this upgrade for the GMC uh, uh, suspension. You climb up here, grab the suspension for the GMC, and then you come down. Uh, you can't go get the tower. Um, 
I did because I was up here and I didn't want to come back here again ever. So I just used my uh, Chevy to grab this tower, watchtower, and came back down to the intersection where the uh, GMC was waiting. So I hooked up the uh, Chevy to the GMC and towed the Chevy back to the garage with the engine off, obviously, to save fuel. I brought the Chevy into the garage and then I uh, uh, parked it in the garage and upgraded the suspension. So I raised the Chevy. I also uh, then took the GMC in the garage, raised the suspension on it, sold the uh, stock, uh, and then uh, came around with GMC, grabbed the service trailer. It's here now, but it was parked over here. I grabbed the service trailer, brought it to the uh, Fleet Star, repaired the Fleet Star, grabbed the upgrade for the all-wheel drive, and then brought the trailer and parked it over here, just so it's ready in case I need to uh, exit uh, something and repair it, so it's sitting right there. I then parked the GMC and upgraded the suspension on it, or if I haven't done it before, but I've done it here, and then uh, upgraded the suspension on the Fleet Star, installed the all-wheel drive, and sold all the stocks. Okay, so with the uh, GMC, I also, um, with the Chevy, as you can see, the the, uh, the engine upgrade is here, and so I sold the stock, and then um, installed a better engine and lifted the suspension. Got some money that way. With GMC, I was able to uh, sell the suspension. Uh, it gives me about 2000 money for that, and that's it and with the Fleet Star suspension and the all-wheel drive. So th that amount of money is what I needed to, uh, to continue on with the game. Um, I then used the Fleet Star that now has all-wheel all -wheel drive and race suspension, but still uh, highway tires. I came out, I grabbed the, uh, the farming uh, equipment trailer that's parked here, and I pulled it to the farm, completing that quest for the, um, for the uh, Husky forwarding. That's the first one available here. So I brought it to the farm. Then I went um, over here, discovered this uh, uh, flatbed, uh, ramp, ramped flatbed trailer. Just pulled in enough to discover it. Then I pulled in here, grabbed this quest, and then grabbed the fuel trailer that sits here. Pulled that fuel trailer with the Fleet Star, and I uh, parked it right outside here. So in case I exit, I can fuel up whatever I need to. I filled up my fleet start completely and I took it into the garage. So that's that's all I've done in Michigan. So from here, we go uh, to Tymere and we transfer our fleet star to uh, Drowned Lands. That costs 3500 to do that in hard mode. So it's a fully fueled. I then used, uh, I bought the uh, service trailer. You cannot install any service attachments on trucks or fuel attachments until level four, rank four, and I was at rank two still. So I had to buy the service trailer, and that's what you do. And um, with that service trailer, you hook it up quickly. You don't waste any fuel because you're going to need all the fuel you have in the Fleet Star. And you um, you head over to um, Taiga. I passed this quest. I don't bother with it, and then that, that, that fuel trailer, and I just head over to Taiga. Now I didn't follow the road all the way because it gets kind of tricky here. So, um, like uh, in this area, so I, I just climbed the hill. There's an opening here. I went over the hill, and then I went to Taiga. Now, there's a little trick here. As you go through here, you see all these ditches. You, don't, you want to avoid them, so you go into this open field, and the Taiga is parked right here at the edge of the water. It's nosed in. The, the, the back is toward you. So you get here, and there's a box right behind it to activate the quest, the mission. So the idea is, as soon as the Taiga gets in range, it has a busted fuel tank. And it has some fuel in it, but it's going to start draining the fuel. The point is to get, once you get about here, you kind of go as quick as possible to get into the, uh, closer to it, activate the, the, uh, the mission. As soon as it's activated, you can then uh, kill your engine too, right away. You just pull in, kill your engine, activate the mission. And as soon as you activate it, select the uh, repair. You're pulling that attachment, so it's here. You're uh, not attachment, but you repair a trailer and repair the fuel tank as fast as possible. You have to do all this real quick. If you do it real quick, it will not drain that much fuel. It'll have like 170 liters left. You need to get it up to 330. And you will have just enough in your Fleet Star at this point to top off the uh, Taiga. 
you, you use the uh, the rest of the repair points to fix the taiga and that uh, mission uh, that quest sos has been completed now you have the taiga i had about just about 30 liters of um, fuel left in the fleet star so i just used that to back it up with the trailer i then backed up the taiga you just hit the reverse it comes right out and i hooked it up to uh fleet star that had a trailer behind it with the service parts and then i pulled that back to the garage okay i just left the uh trailer right there service trailer at the entrance and then uh, put a fleet star in the garage and a taiga so here's the uh, drown lens garage and we have a fleet star here as i said before we have um the only thing we have here is a raised suspension we do have um uh, all-wheel drive and um, when i did all the stuff with it i also installed the um uh, saddle low because that adds a little weight to the rear tires you're pulling a service trailer and you want as much weight as possible because you have really really bad tires and it, you can get stuck these are the tires uh, it came with these so i did buy the tires for it uh, appropriate for the size now these were not available they are available at rank six and that's where i am right now so don't worry about these they were not available so when i got the race suspension i actually got the race tires for it as well and sold the originals so that's all we got for the uh, fleet star now we uh, transfer our uh, taiga to a more uh, region right here and we end up on the first map the uh, uh, urska river so here, this is the garage, and I'll show you exactly how I uh, did this. We spend most of our time here. You have to be extremely cautious doing all this stuff because there is no... Um, when you bring uh, your Taiga here, the only thing you're going to install on it, and I'm going to show you actually. Um, let's see. Go back. Um, let's see. Back to more. I'll show you where the Taiga is located here at the Cosmodrome. Um, I left it in this garage, but I'll show you what I installed on it. It's the only thing. This is the reason you're doing it in a Taiga, because uh, the engine, gearbox, suspension is not available. Suspension is in uh, Zimnigorsk, where the uh, TUS-420 Tatran is, and we didn't do any of those missions. Uh, so the only reason, the only thing you have on Taiga available is the all-terrain tires, these ones. Okay, That's the only vehicle that has these tires available that's available in the game that early on, the all-terrains. And you can see the uh, normal all terrains are still blocked till rank nine. So you get these all terrains installed; they're pretty expensive, and you sell the uh, the ones that it comes with, these ones. And then the only other thing you install on it is um, a frame add-on. You're going to go install the uh, the low saddle. Those are the only things you will install on it. It will look really uh, beat up, uh, damaged. So don't worry about doing a repair on it. Just leave it the way it is. You're not going to have enough money. Once you've done all this and transferred it to uh, a more uh, region. Urska River, you will have 50 bucks to your name. That's it, 50 money. So you cannot make any mistakes. There will be no recoveries, nothing. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna leave the garage and you're gonna head uh, this way. Just, it's a main road that goes basically out of the garage. And you're gonna follow that main road. Uh, right about here, you will actually, before it gets into this rocky area and there's a little flimsy bridge, you don't want to go through this it's kind of tight on for the taiga and so you're just going to descend to the beach and you're going to go around stay close to the uh, to the uh to the rocky area but don't get entangled in those boulders and you're just going to climb up here okay this way ignore all this other stuff you're going to be really tight on fuel here so you're going to make sure you don't um, kind of go sightseeing just stay on this path you're going to go across here this is really muddy. Anywhere where the roads connect like this, it's always muddy. So it's always good to go uh, kind of like from from here to here and then not directly, but kind of on the angle like this, you know, like this. So you're going to go through here and right in this area is going to be a uh, overturned uh, sideboard semi-trailer that carries five units, right? The sideboard trailer. So you're going to actually get Right about here, this is really uh, tippy in this area. The road tips left and right, so be really careful. Go slow to the high side always. And then you're gonna get yourself as close as you can here, 
staying close to the trees so you can winch yourself back and then you will the snow gets really deep in this area where the trailer is so don't descend to it but just enough to uh, winch it and grab it with a winch and even though it's upside down just pull it upwards and then back up using the winch again but get back on this road and then bring the trailer kind of winch it back toward you once you're on this semi road it's kind of really a path but you'll try to flip that trailer over using your winch hitch to it and then uh, you will uh, track back the way we came. You're going to descend here, avoiding this rocky area, and then just go down the beach, and then climb back up, and then just you're going to come basically all the way up. Uh, except for right here, you're going to make a left turn here. Watch the spottle, so stay to the uh, right. You're going to come this way, and um, into this uh, uh, electrical substation. And then right here, you will go through the snow, make a slow progress but the tiger will make it with those tires just kind of slow first for a low gear and then you'll descend this is almost like a road you descend here like this um, you descend through here and then uh, anytime you're on the shore you're gonna get close to the there's gonna be boulders scattered here but you're gonna be close to the boulders but not too far away from them because you will break through the ice so you will go uh, this way with your sideboards uh, sideboard trailer and then you will uh, leave it right here okay at this point you will disconnect your trailer and then you will uh, actually go onto this um, rim of the uh, ice uh, floats kind of those breakable uh, not breakable but those uh, sharp edges of ice kind of like you see on uh, uh, Lake Cove in uh, Kola Peninsula so anyways right here you're gonna have uh, two pieces of uh, ragged uh, ice standing up kind of like a wall so you will if that's the ice you will actually go inside of it on this side and then you will join this path there will be a breakable ice all around here so you will join this path it's real narrow don't fall off and don't go too far right because you'll actually break through the ice uh, I use automatic gear here so I have some speed available if I need it in case I start to fall in I just gun it and then when you get to this edge, this looks kind of loose and you will cut from directly from this edge to this edge. And the ice will break below you, but it will hold. It will hold for the rest of the game. So, But it will look like it breaks on your uh, tire tracks. But just aim for the center. Don't jump off. Just be careful. And then continue on this way along the rim. I'll continue on the, along the rim. And you can see how this one um, kind of turns inward and then continues on, turns again. After the second turn, so you just kind of carefully go through here. It's real narrow. I emphasize it because if you go too far left, you'll crack through the ice, you fall off here, so be careful. Um, you will get here, and then this is all solid ice from this point on. So you will turn around on solid ice, and you will go along this rock because this is all soft here. So you'll go along these rocks. Uh, there's a lot of boulders here, so don't attempt to go this way. And there, this is really narrow, so don't try to go this way either. Just go across this and stay as close to this boulder as possible because especially right here, the ice uh, will break if you get away from it uh, more than the truck width. Uh, here you have a couple options. Um, you can either go continue along the way here, along the shore, and then wh where you're trying to get to is right here. And the problem is right here as you exit this ice, there's going to be some boulders and they will push you into this water. It's, it's really hard to get over them in this basic taiga. It's, uh, not improved with the high suspension or nothing. So uh, instead, I would go this way around this boulder and then um, stay close to the trees and uh, make your way up here. It's going to be slow progress. Use the trees if needed. And then this road right here by the gas station will get really muddy. So you will use this tree, this tree, and this tree to pull yourself up through this road. Once you're up here, there's going to be a mission to repair this gas station. The reason you're doing this is because there is absolutely no fuel available on this map. So whatever you came here with, full tank and the Taiga, that's all you have, right? So um, um, that's it. And when I pulled the uh, Fleet Star from the Taiga's location in Taimir, I actually used the rest of the fuel in the Fleet Star to top off the Taiga before I put it in the garage. So it was totally topped off. It's uh, important to do that. Um, so you will come back here. You need to restore this fuel station. Otherwise, you're going to have no fuel. Remember, garage doesn't have fuel in um, hard mode. So you come through here, and you get on this ice road, and you will climb this ice road. Just uh, 
use the edges of it in order to uh, get some traction. He'll come down here, and then um, that's where the uh, overturned uh, semi-trailer is, uh, fuel semi-trailer. You will come down here, and there's a lot of boulders. Don't get hung up on them. But uh, if you place yourself like right here, you can actually winch that trailer to the right uh, right side up, and then kind of turn it so that it uh, the hitch is closer to you. Back up under it, hitch, and then you can uh, make your way up. There's some fallen trees right here, so you can actually grab to them, and then pull yourself upwards. Um, then you go up this road, this ice road again. You stay on the right side. There will be a guardrail here, and you want to get your uh, right wheels as close to the guardrail as possible so that you uh, have some traction, but don't hit the guardrail too hard because you'll blow a tire. So we don't want to take any damage doing any of this stuff because there will be no repairs for quite a while. So we're going to bring that fuel trailer over here. The, if you didn't activate the mission in this area, you can activate the mission here right before you drop it off, activate it, deliver the trailer, and now you have a gas station. This will be charging you only $2 a liter, which is the cheapest price in the game, same as in Michigan starting map. So this is a great place to fuel up. Now we're going to refuel, and we're going to head back, reverse all this. Again, you're going to get stuck in the beginning, but just use the trees and then come down here, avoid the... Uh, uh, loose ice on the right side get on the rim stay right on the rim right here gun it across you'll see already br broken ice here but it will hold if you just go straight across it'll hold you kind of get a sense of where you can go now you'll, you'll already see water in your tire tracks kind of thing but it'll still work and then you stay on the rim again and then come back here and grab your uh, sideboard uh, semi-trailer that you recovered early Okay, so none of this stuff is a, a shortcut that I'm showing you. This is actually the only way to do this in hard mode. There's no other way unless you, you know, come back way later and you have uh, a lot of equipment with you. But starting up, this is the only way to do it. Um, you will continue back again along the shore. Again, stay close to the shore. Don't get entangled into boulders, but don't go too far left so you don't fall through. And then here comes the tricky part. All through here is a bunch of boulders, big boulders, uh, tons of them you will eventually get one or two underneath of you and then uh, the the truck will just basically get stuck there's no place to winch you don't have enough money to recover you only uh, you, you got 2,000 from uh, re re retrieving this trailer so you got 2,050 and then you filled up uh, your taiga about 500 worth so you still about have about 1,500 a recovery cost about 5,000 at this point so you'll be stuck so don't go on this boulders. What I do instead is I climb this uh, snowy hill. I use some trees to help me out. And then I go along the tree line and help myself if I need with a winch. The ground will turn brown here, as you can see on the map. And you can use this brown area to descend. There's actually good traction here. Uh, the boulders will be actually scattered around this rock. So you can actually cut across toward the ice rim and then get around them, come back over this way. Um, this is the entrance to the garage. Don't worry about the garage. You'll never go there again because there's nothing there. There's no fuel, no repairs, so there's no reason to be there. You're going to leave your sideboard uh, semi-trailer right here. And now we're going to go follow this basically the same way. Staying close to the boulders on the right and not too far to the left so we don't fall through. Uh, we're going to go past this big rock, which looks like a rock formation, like a walrus. It's got like a little ice. We'll call it the walrus, okay? We're going to make a right right after that, and then we're going to climb right here to this road. We're going to go across it and then down to this road. Again, anytime you see this connection like this, it's going to be a mud trap. So just go around kind of as close to this pole like this. Right here, you're going to pass some rocks, and you're going to descend back down to the lake or to the river. Again, stay to the right as close as possible, and then um, don't fall in. This area gets uh, loose ice. So this uh, part right here could be a game basically ender too because you may not have enough fuel to come back. But um, here's what you need to do. You need to go around this way and then uh, toward these trees. It can be two uh, rocks. You can actually see them on the map here. Oops, M mouse t twitching putting a bunch of dots. Anyways, um, 
that's because the steering wheel moved. Anyway, so you're gonna go as close to the uh, to the trees as possible and winch yourself up. Don't don't head for this road because this road gets really muddy here and you'll get stuck. So you just wanna follow the tree line, climb the hill, and make it take your time. And then you're kind of aiming for this uh, uh, power line pole. You're gonna hug around it. This area is gonna be kind of a, like a loose ice with a marsh below it, and this is kind of one of the worst things that you can encounter and but it's going to have a lot of down trees all through this area so you're just going to use those trees to slowly winch yourself through this area um, it's, it will be a slow progress but you'll go to the side of this power line winch yourself using the power line and the trees and you're just going to go this way you didn't install the snorkel on the taiga because we had no money so be careful don't dip the right side into the water too much you can make through here make it through here no problem with no snorkel but in case you get a big boulder on the left side the right side will tip into the water you might get the engine damage so watch the boulders as you're winching yourself across here um, you will go through this little area kind of winching yourself on the fallen trees and then there's a temptation to go through here where the rocks are don't get entangled on them it, it's, it's it's easier to go over the snowy hill through the trees there's plenty of room to get yourself winched right here is going to be the uh the supply uh trailer you, that's where, that's our target there will be a quest activation next to it mission activation you, you can do it you don't have to you can get it later but it will be it will be pointed the right way so you'll just back to it grab it and then pull it this way the same way using the trees to uh, make your way this is, will take painstakingly slow and you'll be using a lot of fuel so um, just be quick with the winch and then pull yourself if it doesn't work pull you grab the next one you know hook up the back of the truck and pull it forward kind of thing you know just do your best get over this uh, electrical pole again power line pole and then hug the uh, tree line again use the trees to get yourself through the snowy area back on ice once you're back on ice, automatic gear, go as fast as you can. Don't fall to the, uh, into the uh, loose ice here. Don't hit the boulders on this side. Hug the shoreline again. And then uh, right here, you'll climb up. Now, right here with the lake and the hill. So this is up and this is the down toward the lake. So when you go up, there's a, actually the line between the ice and the hill it's pretty sharp so if you hit it hard at high speed going up or down doesn't matter your bumper will grab it and you'll take damage to the engine I've done it both ways so slow down when you actually make this turn here or when you're coming down the hill you only have to do this once on this round trip so you'll pull the supply trailer this bridge will be out so you'll pull the supply trailer this way and down the way we came around this walrus and then down to the uh, avoiding the rocks kind of you know this way i don't know why my mouse is making uh, too many dots but anyways it's glitching you will continue this way avoiding the boulders and don't fall through the ice right here you're going to leave that supply trailer because currently you're going to have about a hundred liters left of fuel and that's just enough to get to the gas station you're going to leave it here your sideboard trailer is here you're going to go follow this road again, join the rim around these rocks, climb up here through the brown area, follow the tree line, descent, follow a uh, rock line, and then right here where there's uh, ice pieces sticking up like a wall, you're going to join on the inside of them, gun it through here. You'll see some water already forming here, but that's fine. Be careful here, and then just get to this point, turn around, follow these rocks, and then back up to the gas station. If you do it right, this is gonna be the most frustrating. You're gonna be almost out of gas, but you'll be stuck, so you'll have to pull yourself with a winch. Be quick with a winch, get yourself to the gas station. The entrance to the gas station, like this, both really muddy, so you wanna avoid them. You wanna go either right here or kind of like around this way, So, but don't go directly the way the path leads you to go to, because it's really, you're gonna get stuck here with not, no winch points. So either cut across here or cut, get to the road and cut across this way. Uh, fuel up. Uh, you'll only have about um, about eight hundred, uh, about a thousand dollars left right now in your name, and then you're heading back. Retract this whole thing again. Retra retrace it the whole way. Come back this way through this wooden area. If you don't go through here, you, you, you risk it uh, getting hung up on these boulders. As I said, there's tons of big, big boulders, and when you get over them, they pop out of the ground, and then they'll just lift you, and you're going to be hanging there. That's it. So follow this road, brown ground. You just follow it down, get on the rim, 
get over and then now you're going to grab that supply trailer that you pulled out of the marsh you will go with that supply trailer kind of like uh, actually a little bit over this way kind of like this and then um, you'll you'll get over to this crossing now right here you'll see this piece of ice right here that i'm showing it actually exists in the game so you're going to put your right tire on that ice and you're going to slowly approach without going too fast otherwise you'll take too much engine damage so you'll, you'll basically just almost the bumper will almost touch and then you hit the gas it'll get over that uh, bump and then the rear wheels and the trailer will follow no problems so we're now gonna just go same concept here hug the rocks don't get in the boulders but don't go too far so you don't fall in and then uh, here's one of the most dangerous uh, crossings that you're gonna encounter this might be a game uh, ender as well now this area here where we're at is higher than this area here so going this way is much easier you're going to approach it kind of slowly and then get across you might take engine damage from hitting the bumper like seven ten damage that's fine and then you're going to pull that trailer across it's slippery here so be careful don't fall off left or right once you uh, go across you're just going to go same concept hug the rocks avoid the uh, broken ice and you're going to go over here it's a pretty easy climb and low gear. There's a tree here to help you get up there. And then you get on this ice road. Once on this ice road, use the uh, the edge of it to get traction and get into these uh, concrete panels. Concrete panels will uh, break your wheels. So go first uh, low gear, really slow approaching them, especially right here at the entrance of this uh, into this warehouse. The panels are very sharp. Try to not climb the sharpest edge of it because you'll break a wheel and there will be no way to repairing it. To repair it so when we get here there will be a mission for uh, to deliver that uh, supply trailer it'll be right here so you can actually activate it and then deliver the trailer what happens if you deliver that trailer uh, initially you have only this uh, warehouse uh, platform available with a with a loading zone and it does not have uh, metal beams it has metal rolls but then you have to take two metal rolls to get metal beams somewhere over here and it's impossible to do with no fuel um, up here with no money like the way we we got here so unless you came well prepared at the end of your game then you would probably bring some you know fuel with you and fuel attachments and all this stuff refuel them and have set up a camp of some sort buy a fuel trailer pull it up there we don't have that option that's why we went and got that um, supply trailer when you finish that supply trailer task it will activate this platform as well the second platform and it will have limited amount of wood metal and consumables 10 of each so you will have uh, 10 of each of those items and metal beams is what you want so you're going to grab um, deliver the trailer and then you're going to head back down the same way you came and here comes the tricky part and this can end the whole thing so because this part of the shore is lower than this side it's easier to get to jump onto it but it's harder to get back up if you go nose first there's a hundred percent chance that you're just going to your bumper is going to collide with a with a with a shore and you're not going to go any further because it's slippery you can't get enough traction to get up there but what you're going to do is you're going to reverse you're going to go backwards through here and put your rear tires uh, allow your rear tires to climb this as you're pushing yourself backwards uh, across this gap it's easily said than done because if you steer a little too abruptly the uh, you, you'll slide off so be quick with gear shifter make sure you go forward if something starts to slide and you can uh, approach again and try it again but once you reverse across this gap you can then now other overpowered vehicles can do this no problem but the taiga in this case not lifted this is the only, the best way it could do so you will uh, then go normally again um, for some reason these are floating kind of weird huh well anyways they're floating above the ground so uh, we'll go back here and then uh, same way watch for this piece of ice that sticks out you're gonna put the left tire on it just kind of go slow put the left tire on it bumper will touch hit the gas and it will get across uh, once you get here grab your sideboard trailer and then you will repeat the whole thing make sure you put the right tire on this ice piece get across with the sideboard uh, semi trailer you come here and again this is really easy just put your nose in hit the gas and then you'll you'll get across up here and then this is how we're going to load up we're going to go to this dock first always to this to the left one we're going to grab two metal beams and then we're going to swing around 
And we're going to come to this one, and we're going to grab one uh, service uh, spare part. We will take all this again. Be careful through these panels. Go real slow. And on ice road, this starts downhill, so don't go too fast because you'll collide with this rock or you'll uh, jackknife. So just go take your time, come down here, and then activate this bridge repair task. It will ask for two metal beams and two service spare parts. So the two beams we got and one service part we got. So now we're going to just reverse the best you can, turn around, come up the hill. Don't waste any fuel because you don't have any to waste. Come back here, careful again, and you're going to come back to the left one again. You're going to grab two metal beams first and then you will come around again and you'll grab one service part because we needed two and we delivered one right so we're missing one but you're going to get two metal beams first because you want that weight as close to uh, the front of your truck as possible but you'll be taking it the rest of the way so we're going to come back again to this bridge and we will deliver the second service spare part that will uh, build this bridge and give us a pretty good amount of money about 3,500. So now we have some capital uh, to work with because uh, all this time you were loading those things and that cost $150 per load. So we actually spend about uh, 600 uh, money here and we're almost out of cash again. We're down to like 100 bucks. So this 3,500 was a good, good thing for us to keep us fueled. Uh, as you can see, this is all really tight. So we go across this bridge just like we did here, this is ice road, so kind of just stay uh, over here to the left and then swing over. Down around this walrus, walrus and then just kind of uh, the way we uh, we did it before. Go this way, and then we're going to be using this path quite a bit. So just you're going to get real familiar with it. You're going to know every rock to avoid on it. And uh, as you get over here, cut across to the standing uh, pieces of ice. Across here, this is where you gun it. It's already really wet here, but you can still make it. And then just along the rim, this way, turn around, around this rock. Keep it real tight to this rock, otherwise you'll fall in. you got a semi-trailer behind you, so make a nice wide turn. This is uh, already uh, solid ice. And up the hill, slow progress here, even slower here. Winch yourself up, and then it will deliver right here. This will be under this... Um, a more uh, regional administration, you're going to have a, a heap of work. That's the uh, mission or contract that you're trying to achieve. So we will deliver that uh, two metal beams up here, and then we'll uh, back up and go through the gas station, get some fuel, and then reverse the whole, retrace the whole thing back up uh, through here, over this way, and then uh, back. We will not go through these cracks again. That was the reason to repair that bridge because going this way is very dangerous. And if you made it one time, you got lucky. So there's no reason to attempt your luck twice. So we're just going to go back up again around the walrus, make a right turn up here across the bridge. And then we're going to load up again. Careful entering here. Don't lose it. Don't lose a tire. Again, we're going to go to the left one first. We're going to take uh, four wooden planks. Okay. I made a mistake. I started loading consumables, and then after two, I realized I was taking the wrong thing, so I had to delete those from my cargo and then take uh, uh, four of those wooden planks because you're going to need four wooden planks and four service spare parts. We're going to come around, and then we're going to grab from the bottom one, from the left one, we're going to grab one service spare part, and we're going to have a full trailer with five items. I'll show you why later we need to do it that way. So we're going to go back across the bridge. Uh, stay on the left side here, get some traction because it's uphill, and then cut across around the walrus. Follow the shoreline, just like we did always, right this way, across. By then, since you haven't changed the map, all the rocks that you kind of pushed out of the way, they will kind of create a road at this point. So you, uh, you actually have a nice path through the uh, rocky field here, up and over the hill, but I still would not risk going through here. One wrong mistake and you, you, you hung up, that's it, it's over. So, going this way, you still don't have enough money to recover to the garage at this point. So, be very careful. Um, going across, same same exact thing, standing ice. You're going to make a turn inside of it, gun across, and then follow the rim, turn around, close to the rock, slow progress up here, winch up, and then you deliver the wooden planks and one service part. Get gas, you're going to be about half tank at this point. Retrace the whole thing back again, the way I said it, up here walrus bridge 
and then you're going to get here. Again, you're going to go to the left one first. You're going to take one metal beam that's going to be needed in the Cosmodrome map. So we're going to take one metal beam. Remember, we had 10, so there's only five going to be left. Then you're going to turn around. You're going to grab uh, remaining slots. You're going to have three left, so you're going to put three service parts in there. That's why we're doing it this way. So again, full trailer, with three service parts, and then again, across the bridge. Watch your speed down the hill. Don't hit this rock, so slow down on time. And then over that way again, Walrus, shoreline, rim, hill, shoreline, and then standing ice across, gun it here, get it across, close to the rock, slow progress, and then we'll turn in our uh, three service spare parts. That will complete that phase of the heap of work. So now we're going to leave the semi-trailer here with our two metal beam or one metal beam that's going to be needed for Cosmodrome and we're going to get some fuel and we're going to go for a second phase of that uh, mission again this is icy road so stay on the edge and don't go too fast down hills we're going to go over this way uh, this is all snow so it's easy to climb up uh, this uh, bridge kind of tilts to the left so stay to the right of it again snow descent some rocks over here and then we're going to go uh, onto the side road because there's a gap Okay, there's going to be a sign right here that says road closed. Again, this is a marsh pit, so you don't want to you don't want to go through here. You want to get to that sign and then cut across uh, toward the road on the snow. So that's going to be uh, much easier. And then we're just going to go here, no problem. Again, this is going to be muddy, so I stay to the left usually because there's a pole I can pull myself to if I get stuck. There's nothing on this side, so stay to the left of the tracks, and then you'll make it to the ice road. Same thing here. Okay, this is muddy, so cut across this way. Uh, going through town, don't worry about the quest, you'll get it later, mission. Um, we're just basically going to, this is all uh, clear sailing until you get out of the town. So now it's going to get uh, left, right, tilting road, and be careful, stay on the high side. It's easier to pull yourself kind of over to this pole, kind of make it way to this one, pull yourself, and then zigzag between the trees and the poles to get through this muddy section here. Um, you'll get straight uh, into the factory. There will be a service uh, trailer parked right here. So you'll come around, hitch to it, and then continue this way out, out of the factory. Uh, make your way again carefully through here. And then um, again, instead of going through the tracks, cut across this way. Get on the ice road, close to the rocks, cut this way. And then right in this area, you want to go kind of off the path a little bit otherwise it kind of tilts toward the trees so you can fall over there i don't know why the the markers are hanging above the map getting too many of them i guess so anyways you get back on the road and you go over this bridge again with a service uh part trailer and then you just deliver that to the um to um to this point that completes the uh the mission you get seventeen thousand. Uh, in money, so that's a good, uh, good, good, uh, good bank right there. Um, you will now get topped off on fuel, and then hook up to your. Oh, before you, uh, before you uh, return your service semi service trailer, you you can actually repair off of it. I would not repair too much because it will become not uh, returnable. I think so. I would not risk it, so you wouldn't have to do it again. Reset the mission. So. Just you, you have like a little bit of engine damage, that's fine. But if you have a major repairs, don't you know? Be careful with that. Anyways, turn it in, get some fuel, hook up to uh, sideboard uh, semi trailer, and now we're heading into the um, into Cosmodrome. Wow, oh, all these dots are still here, huh? Oh, that's crazy. How do you get rid of these dots? Wow. Let's see. Maybe this way. Yeah. Or not. Wow, all these dots are still here. All right, you're going to have to ignore them. I'm going to make less dots. So uh, when we enter Cosmodrome, we appear right here. And the first thing is Ice Road. So the first thing we're going to encounter is uh, this um, log crossing. It requires you basically to bring some logs to fix this road. There is no way going around it. This is all uh, breakable ice. So you're going to have to go through it. You're going to jump into uh, basically this opening. Uh, the marsh, the pit, basically, the mud pit, and then you're going to pull yourself to this pole, and then uh, not going to work like this. That clears it. Good. So you're going to go again. 
to this pole and there's some fallen trees you're going to kind of zigzag pull yourself out of that uh, pit and then get back on the road you're pulling a semi trailer with one metal beam with you and then this is your semi trailer so don't go too fast here because there's a rock slide right here you don't want to jam into it there's no braking action whatsoever so stop here offload your uh, activate the quest for the rock slide and that's going to require one metal beam you're going to deliver that leave that trailer here you will now take your uh, taiga right in here into the garage go straight into the garage okay there's going to be another uh, sideboard uh, trailer here with two cement just don't worry about it you'll discover it on the way out uh, once you're in the garage you're basically going to make it um, let's see Yeah, I'm already here. That's right. You're going to make it look like this. The only thing you're going to add is the uh, the frame add-on. Like this. Instead of the uh, saddle. And, of course, you can paint it. If you don't, it's going to look like this. If this is the default colors that uh, it comes with. Oh, I'll go back right there. Except for it's going to be all damaged. Painting is free, so we're going to make it the same color except for like this. So... Once we have that done, we will exit the back of the garage, discover that sideboard trailer, and we're going to purchase a fuel carrier okay, at the trailer store. We're going to purchase a fuel carrier, and then we're going to go out this way through the uh, slide. Now, anything purchased with fuel is not fueled in the uh, hard mode, so you need to put fuel into it, but we'll get to that in a second. So you could go all the way back through this pit and get cheap fuel at the first map but that's uh, not necessary so um, if we do everything right so we're going to go uh, through the cleared rock slide there's going to be some rocks so be careful on those some boulders uh, there's an area i believe right about here that uh, i'm going to try to flip you over um, stay to the uh, low side because the high side will flip you over kind of go into the ditch and then pull yourself out with a winch you're going to get to this village, and then right here, you're going to kind of go this way and leave your fuel trailer right here. This uh, sideboard, uh, sideboard trailer, empty, will be parked right about this area. So you will hitch to it. Be careful. There's a loading platform, but this whole area is uh, just a, a deep, deep, deep mud, So even though it's covered by the snow. So be careful. Where the trailer sits, kind of just back up to it, grab it, and then go around the edge of it. And pull up right next to the platform don't go in this uh, don't cut through the center you'll get stuck there's nothing to winch to so we will get two service parts here auto load and we don't have a crane at any of this point so no money for the crane so once we get two service parts we're going to come across this way around this barn and then right here there's a scout fuel trailer it has a zero now but that's fine it would have 900 normally full so we take uh fill up our taiga uh, you can grab this if you want, but we can just continue on. Again, this entrance is very uh, muddy, so try to stay close to these uh, telephone poles. And then uh, we'll get back on this road. Once we get back on this road, we're going to go. Just use your best judgment on it until this uh, tree fall. This is kind of where we're at along the river. There's going to be a tree fall, and there's going to be a task. You activate it. It's going to ask you for two service parts. Deliver those two service parts. And this clears the road. We will now reverse the trailer the best we can, turn it around, and then take it back to where we came from, from the village. This is where I left it, and I grabbed my fuel trailer then. Again, I pulled it around this uh, mud pit right next to the platform, around the building, came around, and then I put all the fuel from the scout into my fuel trailer. And then it was about 750 total at this point. So... I went across again with my fuel trailer now fueled and then um, I topped off the taiga before too. Right here where you clear the tree blockage it will actually have um, uh, a lot of fallen trees and uneven ground so careful going through here. Uh, some big big pits here so be careful avoiding them as well. Um, this factory has nothing for us at all zero so basically ignore it just go down this path continue on and then uh, there's going to be some boulders on the side here, so you have to kind of hug uh, the right side. Be careful, don't fall off the cliff. So when we get here, this is the railroad. The bridge is closed. For, for traffic, you can't get through it, so don't worry about it. But you don't want to go across this road. This road gets really mushy. 
uh, you will get stuck here, guaranteed. So don't even don't even try. It seems like a shortcut, but we need to actually get on the railroad and uh, put the right tire on the right side there, off the, off the track, until about here. And then there's a drop, so switch the tires, put the left one there, and then kind of wiggle your way here so you don't fall off the track. You're pulling the fuel trailer behind you. This gets snowy here, so you're going to turn right into the snow, and then you should be uh, fine making your way through here. Some of those puddles have ice on them that breaks, but they're not very deep, and the tiger should make it through. I aim for the tree clusters here, here, and then here, just in case it gets stuck and there's some fallen trees in some areas to, to help you out. Again, this is really marshy, this connection, so cut the corner this way. And then you will go toward this uh, factory, but you will make a left again. Again, this is marshy, so just make a turn, uh, muddy. So you're going to make a turn here. And this, again, gets kind of a, one of those puddles with uh, breakable ice. So it's not the best, but you, you'll make a slow progress. Keep close to the tree lines in case you need to pull yourself out. And then this is the final stretch. Uh, right here is uh, probably one of the deepest uh, mud holes that had covered but by ice that breaks. So it's not pleasant, but you can make your way through it in low gear, pulling the trailer. Worst case, you can disconnect the trailer, make it through, and then windshield trailer back toward you so you go across the wooden bridge don't worry about the quest the mission here so uh, this is the church and it has a fence around it so we're basically going to go along the fence here with our trailer now uh, it gets really really soft here so use the trees to pull yourself up and there's a really narrow uh, road kind of path here for the taiga and the trailer. So there's a rock formation to get over here. Use the trees to pull yourself up. If you get stuck completely, disconnect the trailer. Pull yourself up. Pull yourself over the second rock using one of these trees. And then once you get up here, you can winch your trailer up toward you. Hook it back up somewhere in this area once you get all nice and leveled. And then use the trees to go down this hill, which is, again, very rocky and very uh, tippy. So just pull yourself the best you can down with the with the with the winch. Once you get here, the uh, Zix is going to be parked right in this area by this little uh, pool, and then um, right before the Zix, you're actually uh, going to get stuck in some deep snow. So make sure you aim for where the fallen trees are, so you can pull yourself into the uh, box that activates the uh, Stargazer uh, task. Once you're there, you will. Uh, Use the repair points from your attachment to repair the Zix, and then you'll use the fuel to uh, top it off, and now it's operational. You will now uh, jump into the Zix, and then hook up the Tega with the trailer behind it, and then pull it this way. You're not going to go through the rock formation. You're going to pull it this way along the shoreline, and this rock is actually like a, like a ski jump. So you climb it, no problem, and then at the end it just falls off. But if you go slow, you can descend and pull all, the whole combination down with no damage at all. So you're just going to come down this way. And there's a blockage here, so you're going to go through the tree line by the church. You can grab this uh, task now, and it'll discover this small uh, flatbed trailer with some fuel on it So as you swing by. It will go back the same way, pulling uh, Taiga behind you, and we're just basically retreating the way we came. Go through here, not a problem. Six will just pull it uh, in, uh, even though it has a basic engine, it will pull it just fine in uh, automatic and then instead of going around the railroad we're actually going to go through this mud pit you're going to see what you missed right about here somewhere it's going to get really deep and you're going to have to use Tiger's engine to help uh, Zix out of the uh, mud hole covered with ice and then uh, across the railroad basically track back the way we came and this is easy from this point now you could have uh, simply returned yourself back uh, by uh, recovery However, in hard mode, we strapped for cash, and as you saw, when I got back to Michigan, I only had about 60 bucks left. So again, um, it's not that hard just to pull yourself back out. You pull yourself back out with a whole combination down this road, and then I left that trailer. There's no need for it, and I just pulled the whole thing into the garage. I uh, parked the fuel trailer that still had about 7% left in it right there for the future use, and then... Um, I put the I left the tiger here and I actually as I showed you early I actually um, went ahead and repaired it I had about twenty thousand in cash I went ahead and repaired it cosmetically so it looked nice and clean it deserved it after all that it's been through um, then I went into uh, stored the um, Zix and then deployed it in Michigan which cost thirty five hundred 
Uh, once I got it to Michigan, I uh, was ranked six. I had 60, well, I had more money, but uh, let me show you what I did with the Zix. I actually, uh, the engine is in Timir, the gearbox, suspension is not changeable, tires are just as are. Uh, winch is not available for the rank and then uh, I did install the snorkel that was available so that in case we go through some deep water later and I put uh, for add-ons I put the uh, uh, trunk supplies and uh, for some reason they came with fuel they're not supposed to come with fuel because uh, any fuel add-ons are uh, had to be refueled first in hard mode but for some reason it put them on it must be a glitch and then I uh, installed the um, the heavy crane so those are the things I did. I also cosmetically repaired it, so it looks nice. Otherwise, it was all beat up looking. That cost 5000 And then I actually played with it a little bit, and I installed the uh, front bumper, which I thought was uh, kind of neat because it has a winch on it. So that's uh, that left me with $64 uh, or money or whatever you call it. And um, this is going to be my scout now. It's going to be my... Um, um, What's the best? Um, uh, it's basically a scout. It's going to be uh, basically I'm going to pull the flatbed uh, trailer behind it. It has four slots and I can recover vehicles on it and bring them back. It has a ramp on it or I can just carry four slots of cargo using uh, this crane uh, to load them. So uh, that's it. Rank six. We have a six and uh, we can uh, go ahead and do all the all the missions in uh, Michigan and then beyond. Thanks for watching.